Greetings my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy, and welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a quick and dirty recipe that contains only two ingredients. Well technically three if you want to make it extra cute, but you could reasonably make this recipe with only two ingredients. And one of them is quite interesting, it is ice cream. We are going to be making ice cream bread. So what's the other ingredient? The other ingredient is self-rising flour. Self-rising flour is flour that contains baking powder and a bit of salt. It's often used to make quick biscuits, but that's what's gonna give us the leavening. That's what's going to convert this into bread because the flour contains baking powder. So what if you don't have self-rising flour? Not to worry, you probably can still make this recipe with ingredients in your pantry. You're gonna need some baking powder, some salt, and all-purpose flour. You're gonna take one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and add one and three quarters teaspoon of baking powder and a heaping quarter teaspoon of salt. Whisk that all together and there you have it. Poof! Your own homemade self-rising flour. Now that we've got our flour, we need ice cream. Let me go grab it. Boom, ice cream. We're gonna need two cups of ice cream. You can use any flavor you like, but I've read that you should not use low calorie, low fat ice cream. You need the fat to make this bread work, apparently. I got a big old tub because it was on sale and I thought if I have enough ice cream, I would do two different versions, one plain and one with rainbow sprinkles. So if we add this, this would technically not be two ingredient bread, it would be three, but look how stinking cheery sprinkles are. Just gotta love rainbow sprinkles. They're just happiness in a jar. Just love them. They just make you smile. My youngest kiddo loves rainbows and when I showed him this container of sprinkles he was just overjoyed because they're just joyousness in a container. They're just, I love them. And they have a very specific smell too. It takes me back. I think it's a bit of vanilla flavoring or something. Yeah, rainbow sprinkles. So, so many of you have gotten in touch with me to make this bread, but I first learned about it probably six or seven years ago on the Simple Cooking channel here on YouTube. I remember seeing it there, but I think with all of us quarantined and self-isolating, we're looking for simple and easy recipes to make at home, including this ice cream bread. So I think that's what's caused the reinterest in this recipe. So let's do this. So I'm gonna take my ice cream and I've let this sit in the refrigerator and allowed it to melt. So several recipes that I read said that it's important that your ice cream be either melted or very, very soft. So if you haven't put your ice cream in the refrigerator overnight, you certainly could microwave it to get it nice and soft. So this is an old fashioned measuring cup. I love it. One. So the one cup measure on this measuring cup is right there, not to the top. Oh, I'm spilling some. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's vanilla ice cream. Mm-hmm. Oh, that tastes like summer. Yes, summer. Okay, two cups into my bowl. Now we're gonna add our one and a half cups of self-rising flour to make a batter. This one is going to be the plain version. That's it. That's our two ingredients. Mix it up, mixy, mixy, mixy. There it is. So it's a very thick batter. And these are loaf pans that I've had for years. As you can tell, they're well beaten and battered and stained, and that's how I like them. I'm gonna spray them with a little bit of baking spray. Whenever I bake with loaf pans, I like to use a little bit of parchment paper. You don't have to do this, but I found it makes it a lot easier to take the bread out. Now we're just gonna spoon this very stiff batter into the pan. This type of bread falls into the category of a quick bread because it's using baking powder as a leavening as opposed to something like yeast. So if you don't have yeast, quick breads are a good option for you. Smooth that out a bit. So there is the plain ice cream bread. Now let's do the fun one. We have a little bit of extra, this is nice. One half cups of self-rising flour. Boop. And a bunch of rainbow sprinkles. Let's do a quarter cup and see how that looks. Ah. That's 
see? Already that's better. A quarter cup. We'll see how rainbow that is. We might have to add some more. So you could add any additions you like. You could add chocolate chips, M&Ms, Reese's Pieces, whatever you like. I want more than that. Boop. Because I want this extra cheery. We need cheer. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm gonna pop this into a preheated 350 degree oven for 35 to 50 minutes. We're gonna use a skewer or a toothpick to check on doneness. When it doesn't have any crumbs on it, we know that it's finished. It should be noted that the ice cream is cold, so this might take a little bit longer than you expect, but yes. Okay, so I will be back when this is fully baked. Okay, see you, bye. Okay, my lovelies, the ice cream bread is finished. Now, it ended up baking for about 40 to 45 minutes. I was cooking two at the same time, so perhaps that made a little bit of a difference. So these have been cooling on a rack, and now we are ready to taste. Now, let me show you why I love using parchment paper when I bake with loaf pans. You just pull up on them like this, and look how beautifully they come out. Isn't that great? And these brown up very nicely. Let's try the plain one first. Here we are. It's not a very tall loaf of bread, is it? Nice, it smells like a vanilla yellow cake. Dee -dee -dee. Look at that, we have bread. Alrighty, so let's give the ice cream bread a taste. Will it taste like ice cream? Will it taste like bread? Will it taste like pound cake? Let's find out. I'm gonna take the slice right here, right from the middle. Itadakimasu. <laughs> the crumb is pretty tight. It's surprisingly moist. And even though it contains two cups of ice cream, it's not very sweet at all, just very lightly sweetened. It's definitely a bread. This is not a cake, so it's not gonna be sweet. Well, sweet as you might think, because your expectations are like, oh, I just put two cups of ice cream in there and I combined it with flour, I'm gonna get a cake. No, this is bread, definitely a bread. Hmm, the top part is very much like a scone. It's not as kind of fluffy as a scone and it's not as rich as a scone. There's no butter in here. All we have is the fat that comes from the milk and cream that's in the ice cream. Is it terrible? No. Is it a cake? Definitely not. It's fine. I think this would actually be really fun to serve at a meal and see if your guests can figure out what the secret ingredient is because they might be hard pressed. I mean, if you smell it, you definitely think, oh, sweetness, but when you eat it, it's hardly sweet at all. Let's try the sprinkle version and see if the sprinkles make it taste more festive. It definitely makes it look more festive, but let's see. I put a half cup of sprinkles in here because I want it to be really cheery. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of sprinkles. Definitely you could get away with just putting a quarter cup. This one smells just like the other one, vanilla, and I am convinced that rainbow sprinkles have a flavor and a smell to them as well but I can't really distinguish it from the vanilla flavoring of the ice cream. Alrighty, let's give this one a go. Here we go. So not surprisingly, in terms of flavor, very similar to the first one, just the slightest bit sweeter. This is certainly more visually festive and I love it. But I think if someone were to try this, if you were just hand them a piece, I think they would be ultimately disappointed because when you see all of these sprinkles, your expectations in your brain say cake. And then when you taste it, you're like, oh, that's like a bread. I know this is ice cream bread, but again, this is playing with your expectations because you know that there's ice cream in here and it's super funfetti, confetti, rainbow, sprinkly. And then when you taste it,
it doesn't seem sweet enough. But I do know one thing that will improve this. <laughs> la, 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 la. I have some leftover ice cream. Do, 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 do. So this is gonna make things better. Mm. Yep, 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 yep. And then we're gonna take some of our ice cream, which is very conveniently pre-softened. Cheers. Hmm. Oh yeah, cold, fluffy, vanilla, creamy, kind of cake bread thing on the bottom. Alrighty, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for suggesting this as well. Let me know down in the comments if you've attempted this or if there's anything else you'd like me to attempt rather than you. That is why I am here. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video. Subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.